here i will create usep staircase with total number of rise and total number of trades calculation i have already provided many staircase videos with detailed calculation and all the links are given in the description box hello and welcome to civil engineering tutorials i am swati if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so whenever i upload something new you will get the notification immediately also stay connected with me on facebook instagram and twitter for latest updates now let's get started so staircase area is 8 ft 6 in to 8 ft 10 in in this we have to create the staircase and building height means slab height is 10 ft roof slab height desired rise we are assuming 6 in this is you can see the vertical line that is rise trade is 10 inch so rise 6 inch this is the horizontal line this is trade vertical line rise horizontal line trade now we have to calculate total number of rise so total number of rise is height of building this is height of building 10 feet divided by desired rise desired rise we have assumed 6 inch usually we take 6 inch so 10 feet divided by 6 inch we are getting total number of rise 20 numbers we have calculated total number of rise 20 numbers now total number of trades total number of trades total number of rise minus 1 why here i will show you here you can calculate 1 see 1 2 3 4 5 5 numbers of rise now trade 1 2 3 4 only 4 numbers of trade this is the roof slab okay we will not include this in a trade this is the rise will connected with roof slab so four numbers of trades and one two three four five numbers of rises so total number of trades always total number of rise minus one so 20 total number of rise minus one total number of trades we are getting 19 numbers okay next So, we got this total number of rise 20 numbers, total number of trades 19 numbers. Now, width of one flight 3 feet. Usually, we take 3 feet to 3 feet 6 inch. So, here we are taking 3 feet. Here, width of height, uh, one, uh, width of one flight. So, landing is also 3 feet. Usually, landing and width of flight usually same. Most of the cases we have two landings. So landing is also three feet. Now uh, total trade in first flight. Total trade means total staircase length minus landing. That is total trade. Okay, so total trade in first flight, length of staircase minus landing means here to here. This length minus landing. So here to here, this is the this is the total staircase length of this flight now here to here the total tread so length of staircase length of staircase is 8 feet 10 inch minus landing 3 feet so we are getting 5 feet 10 inch you can convert this all the dimensions you can convert to inches and calculate it will be easy so staircase area 8 feet 6 inch into 10 8 feet 10 inch so this side is 8 feet 10 inch so 8 feet 10 inch minus 3 feet we are getting 5 feet 10 inch 3 feet landing so if you want to uh, convert it in inches so 8 feet 10 inch convert this to inches it will be 106 inch and 3 feet means 36 36 inches sorry change this to inches 36 inches 106 inch to 30 minus 36 inch we are getting 70 inch so 5 feet 10 inch or 70 inch the length of uh, total trade in one flight we are getting 70 inch or 5 feet 10 inch so we got total number of rise total number of trades and total trade in one flight so uh, both the flights are same we have three flights right so uh, parallel flights are same so number of trades in one flight total trade divided by trade 
how many trades in one flight so that how to calculate total trade divided by one trade so total trade is 70 inch divided by trade 10 inch here 10 inch so we are getting seven numbers seven numbers of trades in one flight okay now we got seven numbers of trades in one flight total trade 70 inch and total number of trades 19 numbers now number of trades in one flight seven numbers we we have calculated now total number of flights three flights number of trades in two parallel flights parallel flights means this side and this side these two parallel flights so two numbers so number of uh, trades number of trades in one flight into two so seven into two 14 numbers okay 14 numbers of trades in two parallel flights now rest is one flight so 14 numbers we got this flight and this flight now rest total number of trades 19 numbers so minus 14 we will get five numbers okay so number of trades in intermediate flight this is the parallel flight this is the intermediate flight flight so number of trades in intermediate flight that is total number of trades that is 19 numbers minus 14 so we are getting five numbers okay so five numbers of flight in middle or intermediate flight so we have calculated detail calculations number of trades in intermediate or the middle flight it's five numbers so number of trades in two parallel flights 14 numbers so what we have calculated we have calculated this is we have staircase area 8 feet 6 inch into 8 feet 10 inch in this we have to create a staircase okay building height or roof slab height 10 feet landing 3 feet desired rise 6 inch trade 10 inch total number of rise 20 numbers we have calculated that total number of trades 19 numbers that also we have calculated width of one flight 3 feet landing also 3 feet so total trade in one flight 70 inch or 5 foot 10 inch number of trades in one flight 7 numbers number of trades in two parallel heights 14 numbers and number of trades in intermediate flight means the middle flight 5 numbers okay this is 7 this uh, 7 total 14 numbers and this is 5 numbers two landings are also one one trade okay so we have calculated all this now we will create the staircase see i have already created many staircase u shaped l shaped so all the links are given in the description box you can go through them also and here i will create this so let's go to autocad file i'll create in autocad you can create in revit as well so first i'll take line command l enter now make wall layer as current layer. Sorry, stair layer. I'll make. Uh, we are creating staircase. Let's change the color. Always create as per layer. Take line command L enter. Now staircase area eight feet six inch into eight feet ten inch. This is eight feet six inch, and this is eight feet ten inch. Eight feet ten inch. Now offset this. You can simply copy or mirror. I'll offset to eight feet six inch. Okay. This is done. Here we will create the staircase. So let's check. Mark the dimension. It is eight feet six inch, and this side is eight feet ten inch. Okay. Now landing. We have to provide three feet, three feet landing. So give offset, offset distance three feet. Select this line, click to this side. Select this line, click to this side, and select this line, click to this side. Two landings. Okay. Now 
डिजल रेट राइज सिक्स इंच एंड ट्रेड टेन इंच इन प्लान वी कैन सी द ट्रेड टोटल नंबर ऑफ राइस ट्वेंटी नंबर टोटल नंबर ट्रेड नाइनटीन नंबर विथ ऑफ वन फ्लाइट थ्री फिट चेक द विथ ऑफ वन फ्लाइट विथ ऑफ फ्लाइट हिय इट इज थ्री फिट ओके because so landing and uh, width same so we have created landing so flight also width of flight 3 feet total number of treads in one flight seven numbers and one tread length 10 inch so here we will create the tread sorry here to here this is 5 feet 10 inch or 70 inch 70 inches so how to calculate number of threads we have calculated this okay so uh, seven numbers it will come so give offset offset distance first draw a line here now give offset offset distance so thread number of 14 numbers thread seven numbers okay so both seven numbers so 10 inch thread one thread 10 inch see 10 inch this is one thread length 10 inch so give offset of 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this is 7 okay you can see this space is thread and the lines you can consider rise okay so seven numbers of Okay, so you can mirror this to this side, or simply you can copy also. Select mirror or copy. You can do copy as well. So both sides, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this side also two, three, four, five, six, seven. Total numbers of fourteen numbers of threads in two parallel flights. Now number of threads in intermediate flight that is five numbers. Here. This is also one landing, one thread, and two landings are also two threads. Okay, we'll consider so let uh, from five out out of five, two we have two landings are there. Now rest. This is this length two foot six inch. In two foot six inch, how many threads will be there? Okay, so out of five, we have two. Then now three threads will be there. Okay. Three threads will be there. I will show you. Two feet six inch. We can calculate as well. Two feet two into twelve. Make it inches. Twelve inches plus six inch. Okay, thirty. Thirty inch. Now thirty inch means here to here. This is thirty inch. Now divide divided by ten inches because one thread length ten inches. Okay, so three numbers of threads. this way also you can calculate both the ways i have told so two landings and here give offset 1 2 and 3 three numbers of threads here here to here 10 okay now trim this all these extra lines okay now you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 landing also 8 9 10 This landing eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, nineteen numbers of threads. So rise are twenty numbers. So this vertical lines you can see here. Here I have marked the the here to here one. See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven numbers. The landing is. Seven numbers in one flight. Okay, this landing is one. Then this three flights nine, ten, eleven. This landing is twelve. Five numbers here. Then here thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, total nineteen numbers of threads. And riser. The these lines you can consider the line lines are riser. Here to here, this is three feet. Here to here also three feet. Okay. Here to here this is two feet six inch, and here to here three feet as well. This is also same as parallel flight five foot ten inch or seventy inch. 
this is staircase width one flight three feet this side also three feet okay so we have calculated this now if you want to create wall thickness you can provide this side i'll provide five inch wall then fillet this fillet this and fillet to this also i'll give offset offset distance 10 inch or one fit i'll give offset one fit select click here select click here i will uh, do fillet to this side and extend this line select this and extend this line also here select and extend this line okay and trim this side and this side okay so we have created the staircase okay see this is the staircase so in my next video i will create the elevation and sectional elevation of the staircase okay here it will be start this at the riser 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 numbers of riser then here you can calculate okay so 19 numbers of threads and total you can calculate 20 numbers of this is the last 20 20 numbers of see 20 numbers of rise okay these are the space you can space you can see from top view you can see the Space, this is thread and the line is riser. Okay. So this is the staircase. Use of staircase design. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe the channel, share the video. And if you have any query, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video.